Alrighty, boys. So this is gonna be a quick old video, but um, here's all white. You can't really see shit because it's uh, pitch black. Yeah, beautiful stars, amazing moon. All white's gonna be in the fucking moonlight. And we got the rev limiter set, and we got an unvats locked. So the rev limiter is set to 5600, which before it was set to 5300, which I know is a super bitch thing, and they're all stock set to 6k. But this should be around the 99 rev limiter. So, hoping that it does start up. And no, it doesn't. Of course. Alright boys, so quite coincidentally, Here's a Ford Trans. Shit, because that's a Ford. Uh, GMT 800 transfer case, and there was glass packs in there. I will show you guys what that fucking looks like. You see, I drug it all the way through here, and all the way through here. And here's all white, changing out a couple fuses, and look what we got here. Beautiful flex core piping goes right into a beautiful dual glass pack. This is going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm going to annoy the shit out of you by rev tapping. Quite literally got these out of the damn woods. Not this, but that. That came from our good buddy Landon, which he has a special truck that we're working on for another video. This is what we're interested in. Now, if you guys don't remember, this thing would not start because it was on vats because I'm stupid and I tried to hotwire the fucker. And uh, it blew a couple fuses, which is good. It tried to save itself. But that kind of caused it to do this shit, you know, blow up. And it would not crank over right here. Of course. Here. But now, luckily, I got a bunch of spare fuses. We got it to run last night off the ABS fuse and all that stupid shit. So now I'm gonna pull it with this, with those pair of pliers that I just set down on my fucking seat because I'm stupid. Please come out and don't break. Not today. Not today. Come on. Oh my gosh. See, I don't want to break a damn fuse today. No, thank you. There we go. Oh yeah, looks clean. Let's see. This was ABS fuse. So it would go right here. And I'm not gonna see if all the lights are cleared. I also have to clear check engine lights because this thing is screaming for fucking mercy. Please go in. Thank you. Uh, uh, kind of reminds me of something. <laughs> oh yeah. Clip that on the side. Throw these fuckers out in the woods. And um... Here. You all scan that real quick. Please fucking scan that. Do it. Fuck you. Okay. Alright boys, I'm gonna get a quick before and after, see if all my lights cleared up. I- oh yeah, yeah, there they are. Okay. I'm not gonna run it too long because I don't want it super hot because I do have to do this fucking exhaust today, so. How's my good old buddy Jack? Oh yeah, looking dead as usual. Super fucking annoying. Boys, you guys can see that melted rubber. Um, tires are fucked, that's probably next. But you guys can see where the cut was for that um, muffler delete. Held it up with some string because this does kind of hang down. But 
This shit has not been off since my grandma got married. So, I bet, I think it's really time. Holy shit. It's like a fucking wasp nest up there, but it's all just fucking rubber. Holy shit. Okay. Anyways, it's about time to get the stock piping off. I gotta do rear suspension sometime. But, uh, this thing is gonna be fucking awesome. So, we'll catch back with you guys. Please come off. Please. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna swing down and hit my phone. Oh shit. Weight reduction. Taking off 35 grams. Shit. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Alrighty, so this thing kind of wobbles a bit, but those mounts should work. Should. Holy shit, that's a dual? It comes out as a dual into a single? I never knew that. Oh my gosh, boys. Look what I fucking found. Dude, there's so much rubber. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Gives this truck fucking class. Oh, yeah. 2500 suspension. Pizza toppings. You know, the whole fucking deal. All right, this should pop right off. Please. Anytime. The last ones did it. Why won't this one do it? Boys, quick question. Should I finish off these tires? And then just go take them to some Mexican tire shop and get like 50 buck tires. That'd be pretty awesome. That way I could have a work truck for the summer, but burnout truck for the winter, you know. So, all right, I'm gonna have to set down the can because this will not fucking come out. First one out, sucker's fucking laying on the ground with me. About to make out with this fucker. Next is that one, then that one, and this whole fucking thing should be out. All right, boys, 30 fucking minutes later, and we finally have this thing out. Yeah. See how this fucking goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, piece of shit. You boys have no idea what I just went through to get this fucker. On a hurt knee, too. Goodness gracious, it's finally out. I wish I would recorded all that, but I didn't. Oh, goodness gracious! One thing my ex misses, it is my fucking dick, bitch! Drive a Chevy, you're gonna have a big dick and big steel balls. Ah. So ignore the background, my dad's pole soaring right now. But I'm about to do the fucking oil on all white. Yeah, boys, she's a little nasty, as you can see. But I should be able to drain the oil, change out the can and air filter. That'd be just fine. What the fuck is that dripping? What the hell? Knowing me, it's probably gonna be bad and all metallic y and you know, all that shit, so. Might as well say goodbye. Because this shit is about to be nasty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Look at her. Fucking pissing along. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You boys remember this thing. Or maybe you guys don't. But I'm about to do that. Oh shit. Well boys, there was a little tiny accident. So there's, it's a five quart pan and there's six and a half quarts in here. Oh yeah. All right boys, what a damn scene. It uh, kind of went into venom underneath there. Don't ask. But my manifolds do come off. And now I'm just gonna add some Lucas. So. Hopefully this thing at least lives a little bit longer because of this. I'm going to put about half the bottle in. Put some 5W30 Valvoline in it. So, it should be damn good. Alright boys, see if she'll uh, crank up and be fun. So, slight change of plans. We are going to put on some Flowmaster cats. So they will hook up to the glass packs. But, while we're at it, I found an authentic k &N that was on our caddy. I'm gonna put it on old white, so it should be pretty nice. Haven't updated anything in a while, but a lot of problems, so. Boys got a k and in and half the exhaust in. He think he's so loud.
Righty boys. They're all aligned. Can't really see anything right now. But we're about to weld it in. Good old glass pack back there. This should be pretty good. boys so she's almost done my dad thank you to all of his help this thing's almost welded and I'm gonna have that cherry bomb it's actually a glass pack so good old Honda's beautiful sunset should be pretty sweet
boys. So, what a fucking adventure that was. Trying to back her up without running into any trees. Yeah, I gotta be smart throwing my cargo light. Alright, see you guys on the next one. I killed them. I killed them all. They're dead. Every single one of them.